Hey guys, welcome back to Bennett's Build here, or I'm sorry, excuse me, Bennett Farms. Uh, today, as you can see, we're working in the creek here. Um, I was doing a survey the other day, walking around the fields, seeing what the washouts look like, and I come across this spot in the field over here. I don't know if I had a picture of it or not, but uh, this there was a hole going straight down to the ground, and this tile had failed. Um, I don't know if a muskrat got in here or what, but you can see the top of the tile here. You can actually see it's running right now. Uh, this water was mucky, very, very, very mucky, but you can see the hole in the tile right here. It's letting all the water in. So I'm going to have to dig this up. You can see it running, going right for that hole. Um, so I'm going to have to dig this up some more. i got to go that way with it. It goes right to the ditch. Um, you guys can see the water's flowing towards that that way's east towards the back hole there and um i wasn't sure how this ran because you can see we're probably about 50 yards off the ditch bank over there um and this i guess runs straight across the field here to that big uh, uh hickory tree um so i wanted to get out here it's supposed to rain a little bit this week so i wanted to get out here and get this fixed before i got that done um and i come over here to the ditch and there was there's this little bit of a, a washout slewy kind of shape and area here. I don't know if you guys can kind of tell that without me digging it out, but like right in here. Um, so I knew there had to be a tile here. And you can see this water, I mean, it's moving. It's moving really good right now, except the problem is, is you have this little snake trail it has to follow. So every single one of them curves and bends, especially when you get closer down here to this, um, closer down here every time this water has to make a, a curve and a bend in here and then you get to this spot right here where it's dammed up because the water can't flow through there like this and you can see where it's eroding away the bank that is slowing the water down therefore it doesn't drain properly um, cuts into the bank like it's doing already and your water isn't gonna flow correctly you can see this down here i want to try and get this ditch completely dredged this year whether it be like right now and you can see the water's flowing pretty well now but it's hitting that bank and it's got to come over here hit this bank and it's got to keep going so i'm gonna try and dig most of this out i don't know how far i'm gonna go but i mean i could use that back oh it's just it'll take me a long time i could do it in a day easy i could probably do this whole stretch all the way back to that woods in a day if i had a mini which I may get one. They're only like 475 bucks for like a day. I call that's only one place though too. But I tried widening this area out right here to try and get this water to go and kind of create a, a suction out of that tile there. I don't know if you guys can tell. You might be able to, but you can see the water. You may or may not. I can't tell on the lens. So if you guys can't see it, let me know. You might be a little dirty here. Let me wipe you off. Uh, you might be able to see it. You might not pushing up out of that tile. It's about six, seven inches underneath there. So, I don't know, in my mind, I don't know if that tile is really being efficient. Um, to me, your ditches should be lower than what your tiles are. Um, that, you know, I don't know if that's a, that's just what I think. That way your, your tile can constantly be dumping into the ditch and it's not having to compete with the water that's, um, still in there so like i said that tile is eight inches under the water right now um six inches somewhere in there so if it's six inches under the water then obviously this water is high you know what i mean i don't know how well it's going to drain these fields out you know what i'm saying uh, that's just what i think I, I don't know if it's true or not i know i'm no expert in ditches or tiles or the way fall runs or obviously i know how fall runs but as in the fall of the ground but um so yeah i'm gonna try and kind of dug that back a little more than I wanted to but at this point it is what it is I'm gonna to have to try and level that off a little bit I may have to dig it back some more but I don't want it so steep because I don't want that water to just keep washing it away so I'll have to plant some grass here but I want to I think I'm gonna try and come over here like right where this pile is and start scooping some of this crap out of here um, but what I need to do and what I may actually do right now is let that well that's running when I, when I broke this hole right here, when I broke this hole open and got down to where the tile was, uh, there was probably four or five inches of water in there, so it wasn't even running. 
Uh, and since I opened that up, it's been running now, and you can see it's pretty clear, but you can see the hole right there, right there in the tile. So I'm gonna dig this back a little more this way, and then, uh, and then I'm gonna have to dig that out by hand around it and everything. And then we'll uh, we'll get a splice of tile in there, patch it up, and hopefully it'll be good. I don't know. There may be a run that runs north and south here. I don't know if this just runs straight to the ditch or if it's got a, a lateral right here or not. So, yeah. But that's just kind of a quick video for you guys today. That's kind of what I'm working on. It's Sunday, March. I don't know what is today. Ninth, I think. I think it's the ninth or 10th. Somewhere in there, guys, it's 60, not quite 60 degrees, but it's at least 55. I'm in here in a sweatshirt, and it's a little breezy, not bad. Like I said, we're supposed to get a bunch of rain, I guess, rain, snowy crap. Um, a little bit of my soil profile here. Can't really tell, but you can. Um, you can see, like, this corn stalk here. It's kind of cool how I dug right next to that one, but if I broke that open, you can see the roots. I mean, they're on the ground. You can see how far they're going. They're going all the way down to here, but... You can see like some of this stuff is that blue clay. Um, this ground is hard. I didn't realize this was kind of clay, but you can see some of this other nice black rich dirt. Uh, we got worms in here, so that's a good thing. As uh, John from uh, Maple Grove, John Stevens from Maple Grove Farms out there in Minnesota, he loves worms. I had a couple bigger ones out here in this big dirt pile, but I mean, you can see like these big clumps right here, these all come off the top. I mean, this ground, like you see there's a corn stalk sticking out right there. This ground is compacted. Look at that clay though. So I need to get in here with a ripper and rip this. I don't know if it would do much good with the clay the way it is, but I mean the topsoil is in really good shape. I mean it's nice, nice topsoil. Um, you can kind of see some of the bare stuff over here. Um, I was trying to find a spot. Uh, one lonely farmer was talking about it. He had some ground that's got some moss growing in it that yeah, it's never a good thing and I've got a couple fields back that way that have some moss growing it So I'm sure that's gonna need lime. Uh, there's one thing we're gonna be doing I may even take a soil sample from from this stuff here is soil sampling every single field I own not I'm sorry not own but every single field that we farm both me and my in-law and uh, we're gonna do probably like 20 to 25 samples in each field and meaning samples not like individual samples but take 25 different probe tests and dump it in a bucket and then i'll probably from that depending on how big depending on which field it is i will from there go ahead and uh um from there go ahead and send you like three samples in from each field you know kind of get in quadrants or halves or whatever which way i want to do it but uh yeah so uh, that's what i'm up to today guys thanks for tuning in and watching um, thank you to all the new subscribers. Um, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Thanks for commenting um, and uh, helping me promote my farm and and uh, being a first generation farmer. Um, it is it is tough sometimes, especially in these off seasons, um, trying to you know make ends meet and stuff like that. But with you guys supporting the channel and everything, we're so close to 600 subscribers. So um, if you guys get if we get to 600 subscribers, I'll do a giveaway. Um, I'll have a couple cool things in there. So uh, spread the word, tell your friends, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button, guys. Thanks for watching today. Appreciate it. Have a great week.